about this rain and unfortunately it looks like we're gonna have a repeat again tomorrow not moving out of here hi Kevin hey good evening you guys I'm singing the probably a song that you don't want to hear tonight and that's the fact more rain is on the way across the area check out the radar you know we got in on a nice lull this evening it's been nice to kind of be able to take a nice deep breath and enjoy a couple of dry hours and it's dry now and it will probably stay that way for several more hours through the night around here and that's because we don't need any more rainfall, right? We're already looking at our sixth wettest ever September here in Cincinnati. In fact, we are now over six and a half inches. How about 2.63? That's the average. So we're about two and a half times have seen two and a half times more rain than we typically get, and it's not done raining yet. In fact, there's more rain to come. In case you're wondering where does this stack in terms of the top 10? Here we are at 2018 in sixth place. Notice though the numbers are fairly small, so we could easily jump up into to maybe fourth or fifth here, getting us into the top five all wettest September's ever on record here in Cincinnati with another inch or so of rainfall. And that's entirely possible as we've got more rain headed our way between now and Wednesday. Here's your bus stop forecast. Unlike this morning, I don't think you're going to have soaking rainfalls at the bus stop. In fact, some of you will have the kids out the door on the dry side. Others not so much. I do anticipate some scattered showers for the bus stop tomorrow morning and then for the ride home, some scattered storms around the area. We won't have that blanket of steady rain across the area like we had today. It's a balmy night outside for September. South breeze around 13 temperatures just shy of 70 here at 1120. Look at this today. Just today alone we picked up over an inch and third of rainfall. Temperatures around the area pretty uniform with the clouds and that southerly breeze. Most of us give or take a degree or two just shy of 70. Sharonville 68, Kenwood 67, 68 in Dale High, Cold Spring coming in at 67. We do have this flood watch in effect for areas along and south of the Ohio River. Fortunately, today we didn't have the thunderstorms to get those excessive, you know what I mean, two, three, four inch per hour rainfall rates. But as we get more into a little more unstable atmosphere tomorrow, localized areas of flash flooding could become a greater concern. Here's what's happening on the weather map. We've got this warm front lifting our way tonight. That's why temperatures aren't going to fall much and we keep the threat for a few showers around. We're awaiting the arrival of this cold front, but it's all the way out there in the Missouri Valley, so it's not going to get here until really Wednesday morning and that eventually will shut off the rain. Here's a look at future casts. Notice at 4 a.m. you start to see some redevelopment of pockets of rain. I won't even rule out underneath some of these downpours, a few rumbles of thunder, but it doesn't look like a soaking tomorrow morning. However, as we get into the afternoon, we have a conditional threat for some strong to severe storms out there. It will all hinge on just how unstable we're able to become. It's not a certainty, it's a conditional threat, and the main threat would be gusty winds and heavy rainfall. So we'll keep the scattered shower thread in overnight with maybe a rumble of thunder and then tomorrow more rain, some strong storms possible 78 per year high and essentially it could rain on you at any time during the day tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast shaping up like this. Mike and Sheree, the second half of the week is looking a lot drier overall and we're looking at a nice weekend despite the small shower threat Saturday. Kevin, thank you. This guy